All right, with Warren's uh, Grayson Lagerhoff and uh, Grayson uh, almost through the first full week of camp, you guys are going to have a scrimmage with St. Mary's on Saturday. Uh, what have you seen from your teammates so far? How impressed have you been with the uh, first few days of camp? I've been really impressed, honestly, with especially with our new uh, defensive coordinator, Coach Sanford. He's he's brought a whole new aspect to the game, and every and everyone's just kind of feeding off of him. And Coach Bupp and the rest of the coaching staff just been like really amping us up this week, and everyone's just everyone's ready to go. Uh, you mentioned Coach Bupp; it's his uh, his second year, and uh, was it easier coming into uh, HEDAC and, and camp this year, kind of knowing what his expectations were going to be for you guys as you get underway? Yeah, I think so. Last year, like. I, th I feel like we spent most of the year, us new guys, just kind of like trying to feel him out as a coach, I guess, and see what he was about. But this year, like, we got a lot of faith in him. He knows what he's doing. We just got to trust that he's going to, you know, have the best expectation for us to mm -hmm. succeed. Uh, and he mentioned to us there's been a lot of uh, healthy competition so far through camp. Uh, has there been anybody or uh, any position groups that have stood out to you that maybe uh, might come out and surprise some people once the season gets underway? I honestly think the line will, personally. And... Like last year, we were just really young. I was one of those young sophomores playing varsity for the first time, and it's the game's way different, and you don't realize it until you start in varsity. But I think this year we got an experienced line, and I, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna start clicking. And how much will that uh, experience and, and having some of that uh, chemistry along that uh, along the line help you guys uh, get off to a quick start this year? I just think that like it all comes down to confidence, you know, high morale, like. If we, if we can believe in each other as a team, I feel like we can do anything together. Uh, so uh, you're going to open the season with uh, Connie out at home, uh, one of those games that uh, kind of could have gone either way last year. Uh, what do you guys have to do this year to make sure you come away with uh, a win in the home opener? Just got to stay focused. You know, got to forget about last year. Well, it definitely wasn't what any of us wanted. And mm -hmm. we just we all want something different. And I think that Connie out will be a great game to start the mm -hmm. season. Uh, and so, you know, again, you mentioned last year was a, a, a bit of a learning curve, a bit of a rough year for the Dragons. Uh, what, do you, uh, what do you use to measure success this year? You know, at the end of the year, when you look back on it, what's a successful year for the Dragons in your mind? I just feel like winning games, you know. I mean, the only way from here is up. Can't get any worse. So there's always room for growth. And I just think that as long as we just keep it pushing week by week and don't worry about the past. I think we'll have a really good year. And what do you think people can expect to see from uh, the 2024 Dragons when they take the field for the first time here? Definitely high intensity. Like last year, us being so young, we were just kind of timid and scared and we were unsure. But this year, we're, we're all ready to go. And uh, a little over a week away from the start of the season, what are you most looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to hitting people, honestly. I want to get back out there. I've been waiting for it all summer. All right, well, we won't make you wait any longer. You can get back out there, start uh, hitting and competing with your teammates. Grayson, thank you so all much. Right, yes.